best videos that I've watched. And no, it wasn't one of those high production videos. It's on his Elliot Hulse channel. And I'll link the video down below. And the message in it just resonated with me so much that I just had to share my thoughts on it with you guys. Because for those of you guys who are out there around my age, who are grinding, who's either trying to become like, you know, a doctor or a lawyer doing the university path, or doing the entrepreneurial path like me, like through YouTube, or trying to build their own business, I feel like this message will resonate with you also. And in the video, he basically explained how it took him five years to reach the success that he's been reaching on YouTube for that spike to happen. And within the first five years of his channel, there was pretty much like no subscriber growth. It was so minimal until 2013 when things started skyrocketing for him. And it started making me like evaluate myself as a YouTuber, as a person, if I'm even ready to, to, to achieve the success that I want to achieve on YouTube, on, like in life in general. He said it's not even about what you do to get there. It's not even about the goal or the blessing, whether you get it from God, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, in my case, God. Am I even, do I even have the character to handle the responsibility of the blessing that I'm waiting for, which is a lot of subscribers to help me, to help me not have to work a nine to five, to live the life that I want to live and to be better able to serve you guys through these videos, entertainment wise, educational wise, just motivational wise in every aspect. Am I even ready to serve tens of thousands of people? And I look at myself and in my current state right now, Guys, I am not even ready to handle like 20,000 subscribers, 30,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, 10,000, 11,000. That is as far as I can really see myself going right now in terms of being able to handle that many people subscribe to my channel because I just know I didn't even build the character, the discipline to stick to a proper, you know, upload schedule, stick to a proper, like, like, schedule in general i don't even go to sleep just life schedule i don't even go to sleep on time when i know i should be going to sleep like around 12 or 1 o'clock when i get home from work instead i stay up at 2 to 3 o'clock i get up late and i miss out on opportunities that i know that i could easily take advantage of i even thought about how i kept telling you guys for months on end how i'm going to be getting the new computer equipment the new camera equipment i'm going to start going to the gym and doing powerlifting with calisthenics again how i'm going to be doing parkour i said i want to do parkour this year and it didn't fall through i said i was telling you guys all of these plans that i had and it was like taking so long and after a year and a half i'm starting to see progress with getting the computer with being able to get the camera because i have this job at mcdonald's right to be able to to soon make shirts and and sell them because i brought up earlier in the year and it didn't fall through and it feels like after a year and a half of work, I'm finally seeing progress. How many of you guys are willing to put in a year and a half for you to finally start seeing progress? Put in two years, three years, four years to start seeing progress. It's about building the character to receive the blessings that you actually want to receive or to receive the results that you want to receive. Sometimes you may even get the results before you're even ready to and you lose out on it You may get a hundred thousand subscribers because of a viral video and you're like, holy, holy shit, holy shit Like what I even do with this? Well, how did I even handle a hundred thousand subscribers? That's the thing You weren't even ready to handle it and now you got it So are you gonna sink or are you gonna swim? Some of you guys don't even know or most of you guys If not all of you guys don't even know that when I got my first thousand subscribers last year in October I actually became the press the next week because I started doubting myself so much I was like holy effing shit I was not expecting 1,000 subscribers on my channel so fast and I just didn't feel ready and right after those thousand subscribers came that was when I started powerlifting with calisthenics which was my first real YouTube series which was a huge success pretty much got damn near a hundred thousand views just with those videos alone on my channel that's big for me considering that i just started on youtube so long i wanted a new laptop and just until recently when i just got my job and i'm finally approaching the 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 
amount of money I need to have to get the new laptop that I wanted, I finally figured out how I can actually fit a desktop into my room. Some of you guys are saying, well, what's the point of that? Why are you telling us that? For me, I look at it this way, okay? It's like God was saying, hey, you're not going to get that laptop because you're destined for greatness on YouTube and a laptop is not going to help you achieve that greatness that you're going to be achieving. So, he's going to bless me with something a lot more powerful, a lot more better for me to actually bring better content, to serve you guys better, to achieve the greatness that I want to achieve on YouTube. For those of you guys who don't believe in God or believe in any higher entity, then just disregard this whole message. Just believe in your, 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 your hard work. Again, believe in hard work because without hard work, you're not going to achieve the things that you want to achieve. But I have a strong faith in God, just letting you guys know. So all in all, I just want to leave off with this. It's about the character that you build when it comes to achieving the success that you want. Some of you guys want to become doctors. You guys may probably say, yes, if I could become a doctor at 23, I would. But really, would you? Would you be ready to be a doctor at 23? Do you think that's enough time? Sorry for the focus. Do you think that's enough time for you to build the character that you need to build to become a doctor and possibly save lives? Do you think you have the character for those aspiring YouTubers out there to, to handle having thousands of people waiting for you to upload a video, right? To, Pressuring you to make sure you're uploading consistently. Do you have the 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 the, the character, the discipline to handle all of that, to handle that responsibility? It's all about the character, not about what you do, but who you are. Okay. So I just love I just love that video. I encourage you guys to go down in the description, check it out. Elliot Hulse is forever the GOAT. He's a big reason why I named my channel Strength Over Size. Oh man, he's like my YouTube dad, bro. So, Elliot Hulse, I salute you on the daily, babe, please, baby, please. I'm joking. I saw that somewhere. What was that? I saw that in the Vegan Games video. <laughs> I salute you on the daily, baby, please. That was funny. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, go check out the video. And I am out. Done. Because a lot of people were trying to get at me for not making progress during the summer when I was having my, my rough time with the baby coming and everything. And I was trying to say, like, yo, I know.